Alright guys, how's everyone doing? Again, my name is Hassan and welcome back to Mo's Medical. Alright, so today we are going to be talking about why you should not go to a Caribbean medical school. Right, so number one, do not come here if you're looking to go on a vacation. Alright, I know this might sound like a very basic knowledge, but trust me, some people go to medical school because they feel, oh, it's a time for them to go on vacation and to enjoy life. But no, that's going to be one of the worst decisions you're ever going to make. Coming here thinking that you are coming for a vacation. So do not go to a Caribbean medical school if you are going there thinking you are going for a vacation or a holiday. That's number one. So number two, do not come here if you are being forced by your parents to become a doctor, right? I think that's just too much of a risk to take. If you are coming to a Caribbean medical school, you should be coming here wholeheartedly. You should be coming here because it's something you want to do, not because you are being forced, right? I think it's just too much of a risk to take if being a doctor is something your parents are forcing you or they are doing for some other reason other than yourself, right? As some of us already know, coming to a Caribbean medical school has its risks, right? There's a risk of not matching, you know. So there are different things, you know, you have to really, really think about before deciding to come here. Again, it's not impossible to match, mind you. It's very possible. This year we had, like, you know, the highest match rate for IMGs that we've ever seen since 1991. So it's not impossible. But again, you also have to be real with yourself. You cannot totally be blind to the risks associated with coming here. Right? So if you are being forced by your parents or anyone else to come here, if it's not something that's on your mind to do by yourself, then I think that's a good reason to not want to come here if you are being forced. Okay, so do not come to a Caribbean medical school if you think it's going to be cheaper than going to school in the States or Canada, right? Coming to a Caribbean medical school is pretty expensive, right? So the tuition could be, could range from 15,000 to like 30,000 per semester, right? And there are three semesters in one year for most of the schools. So if you are paying 30 grand per semester and you pay that for three years, that's going to be, that's entering like sixty thousand dollars per year right which is what most medical schools charge anyway in the states and canada right so it is not cheaper coming to a Caribbean medical school than going to the states so keep that in mind you know when you decide to apply right so i have this idea that it's cheaper but trust me it is not and there's some schools that are cheaper absolutely but then again just don't have the general perspective that caribbean equates to cheap that's totally wrong it's actually expensive coming here depending on the school you're going to okay so do not go to a caribbean medical school if you plan to be mediocre okay you should go there you know putting your best foot forward you know telling yourself that i'm going there to excel i'm going to work as hard and smart as i've ever worked in my life because you actually need to okay you need to work a couple more times harder than your US or Canadian students counterparts, right? Because coming to a career medical school, you really need to prove yourself to your program directors, to your attendants, you know, that you know your stuff. Because obviously, there is some sort of stigma associated with people coming from here, right? So that's not something we should be totally oblivious to, right? So that's need to work, you know, a couple more times as hard. So do not come to a career medical school if you plan to be mediocre, okay? Alright, so do not go to a Caribbean medical school if you already have a negative mindset, right? I know it's very easy to have that negativity, you know, flowing in your mind, like, oh my god, I'm going to a Caribbean medical school, so people always fail out, it's a, no, it's a, it's a for-profit school, you know, I'm not going to excel. These are things, these are negativities that you do not need in your life, okay? So it's okay to be cautious, right? Like I just mentioned, coming here is risky. Right, coming here sort of puts you at a disadvantage, right? But I feel those are things you should use to make yourself even better. Those are things that you should use to push yourself rather than bring yourself down. Okay, there are certain realities that are unfavorable, and that's just what it is. That's the reality of coming to a school in the Caribbean. But that should not 
affect your mind negatively. That should be a driving force. That should be the impetus you need to try and push yourself to do better. That should be the impetus you need to push yourself to be like the best student you can possibly possibly be. Because guys, trust me, it is possible. People are doing amazing things. People that have graduated from Kaiba Medical Schools are doing amazing things everywhere, right? So if you are already coming here with that negative mindset that, oh my God, I'm going to a medical school, I'm going to be seen as less of a student, I'm going to be looked down upon, you know, that's totally area. an idea you should remove from the back of your mind ASAP. Again, like I said, these things, I'm not saying they are not true, I'm not saying that it's not likely to experience them, but use these things to push yourself, not bring yourself down. So if you are coming here with a negative mindset, you are better off just staying at home. Alright, so the final reason why I should not come to a Kyber Medical School is if you have not watched my previous video on the things you should consider before coming to a Kyber Medical School, it's linked here. So make sure to check it out before uh, coming to a Kyber Medical School. Alright, so thank you. That's going to be all for today. Um, as usual, if you have any more questions, any comments, feel free to comment down below or just send me a direct message on Instagram and we um, can talk more about that. Until then, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye!